Good afternoon, everybody. Brent Budrow here with The Furrow. Thanks for stopping by and joining in. Glad you're here to watch. Today I'm here with Tim Weber with yep. Copperhead Ag. Uh, welcome, Tim. Thank you. And uh, we're going to be talking about um, Copperhead, a couple different parts that they have that can go on the planter to help you help The Furrow. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Um, we are here in Northwest Indiana. Uh, you can see some corn behind us here. We're at a uh, one of the plots um, that I have here and um, looking at some corn as well. Um, the first thing we're gonna talk about are these furrow closers. Yep, so this is the furrow cruiser uh, by Copperhead Egg. This is our, our fundamental product. This is what we started with. This is what brought us into being a company and everything into the agriculture world. Um, the furrow cruiser is a poly spike closing wheel. Uh, this is what we started with. And the big benefits of this is you're gonna be able to put it into any OEM V style hub. Uh, you can replace a rubber tire with just this, or we can get a full wheel out, or we also have a cast version. Um, okay. We got the cast version right here with us. These are gonna be a little bit heavier, and okay. they're mainly gonna be the biggest benefit if you're running high speed, or if you have really abrasive soils. They're just gonna be able to let the weight of the wheel do the work, okay. and not worry about putting this T-handle all the way down and stressing your planter out so much. Very good. So before we film this video, um, I was able to talk to several farmers throughout the countryside and got some great questions. Thank you guys for that. If you do have questions, um, please feel free to like and comment and uh, we can try to get those answered for you. Uh, the first question is, um, what differentiates you guys from the competitors out there with different closing wheels? Yeah, so when we go to spikes, our main tackle that we're going for is we want to break down that sidewall compaction. Okay. So when you have a V-style opener, your disc comes through and it causes compaction on both sides of the furrow. So we're going to run our spikes on both sides to really break and crumble up that compaction issue. And then with our wheel, we're able to break it up, but we also have built-in depth control with the width. So this width is going to be the same as a rubber tire. Okay. So we're not going to worry about sinking spikes in. We're not going to be flicking seed and we're still gonna get that firming action on the top of the soil that you're looking for. Okay, very good. It brings up a great second question. So a few farmers said, hey, you know, wouldn't it flip, flip up the seed, you know, cause you're right next to that furrow and um, you guys don't normally see that or? No, uh, you know, we have guys running these high speed, um, we have them running regular speed. We don't get rooster tails or anything. And the big issue with that is gonna be the U shape between our spikes okay. and the kind of this triangle shape of the spike. Mm -hmm. So as it goes into the ground, you can see it kind of splits the soil mm -hmm. and then it comes out smaller than it went in. So you're never having that really long spike that you're really getting that swooping action. Okay. And that's where you're gonna start getting the seed disruption and starting to flick it and rooster tail. So with this one, we're just aiming, hitting that sidewall compaction. We don't wanna get into the seed bed and we're not gonna be having that big swooping action that picks in the seed. Okay, very good. What is the wear like for um, this piece? Um, for these, we generally look at about 500 acres per row. Okay. So, you know, if you have a 12 row planter, we should get about 6,000 acres out of them. Okay. Uh, and, a, and a unique thing about the furrow cruiser especially, we don't have a right wheel and a left wheel, it's just the furrow cruiser. So when you're running them this way, you're gonna start taking wear on the outside. So once that's getting wore down, you can take them off, switch sides, and you can get a brand new edge on the other side. So you get a little extended wear over our competitors. Very good, very good. So say you guys have split row planters, how would you prefer them set those up? I mean, should they have two or is one sufficient? Yeah, so we like having two. Um, we say one is better than none, but mm -hmm. the real issue is that V-style opener create sidewall compaction on both sides. Okay. Um, so if you're running on one side, you're gonna do a really good job of breaking it up on one side, but not the other side. And we really don't want any uneven root growth or anything like that. We want the roots to get out and grow into the, so the soil evenly. And that's where you're gonna get your most ergonomic benefit. Nice. Um, so we have some red guys that have asked me a few questions. And it's around the early riser um, press wheel in the back. Um, what have you seen differentiating um, your guys' um, product versus um, the one that comes standard with those planters? Yeah, so it goes back to that, that sidewall compaction where when you just have a press wheel on the top, there's there's not really anything digging in and actually targeting that sidewall compaction. Um, I know those come with the discs on the side. Uh, those are just a little bit out and they're not, not really getting that sidewall compaction. So they might push it together, but there's still an air gap through that. So we like to take that wheel off 
um, put a conversion kit on and still run our, our true V-style closer to compensate for the V-style opener. Okay, very good. Um, appreciate your time today. We're going to have a two-part um, video series here. The second part is going to be going over this um, apparatus here. Yep, and this is our RK product stand, so it's a repair kit, and we have a Deer XP rowing unit here, and we'll be able to talk all about that as well. All right, so stay tuned. Uh, we'll release that video uh, soon after this one. Thank you guys for joining uh, the Furrow here today. Mm -hmm.